Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are back in Paris. We've made our way back here from Ireland. We got our hands on the gem that we needed, uh, which is right here on our inventory. And I guess now we're probably going to turn our attention to the tripod. We've definitely got to go to the museum. And I believe uh, Nico told us to go, I think, and speak with, was it the... Um, the inspector guy. I couldn't remember the name, so it could well be. So let's check out the museum first of all and see if this guy that we wanted to speak to before is now here. And we know the tripod's here anyway, do, don't we? Right, okay. Maybe he's Pardon still me. not here. We miss you? I, is he back? We can ask some questions anyway. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not as sausage. The sign on the tripod says... It was found at a Templar preceptory. It does? Yeah. It doesn't mention John D. at all. Most remiss. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. I owe a little education again to my uncle. He was an optician, but he also doubled as the village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Wait, 19 letters of it. The bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read, so he left them out. Why don't you start over and... We've, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? So, we... Can we show him this? I found this gem at a medieval site in Ireland. That means nothing to me, monsieur. How did you manage to get this job? <laughs> I had the right qualifications. Good for you. military manner, squeaky issues, and... An irrational hatred of <laughs> children. Nice. All right. Uh, so before, I'm sure we asked him about the the guy who was supposed to be here, and Can I can't remember how we did that. Further information about the tripod. Certainly, Monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod. Okay. Yeah, we knew about that. What's right. What's the importance of D was the most famous? Don't you? Yeah. So we know all about that. Do Where's... you know anything about midi? Not me, Monsieur. It is the uniform, and okay. they ask you to. They ask me to. They ask I'm just going to skip this because we've seen it before. Not like Monsieur Lobino. That's it, Lobino. Right, where is Lobino? What kind of experiment? Oh, yeah, but we skip. Hmm. So Can we've... I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case. That how sufficient a pin. That's all uh, right. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slight yeah, we asked about this before, yeah. didn't we? So, we know That's how the alarm bell is triggered. And then we tried to hide in, in here, because it can move. So, hang on, let's see if we can... No, you won't do that. So, if I remember correctly, we had to use this thing. And then, when he wasn't looking, we could get in here, right? But before it was saying, oh, we could be in here for hours, blah, blah, blah. So. Let's see. Can we. Quick, George, quick. This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. So that. Okay, that didn't work then. So it's still the same thing. I thought um, Lobino would be here, but he's not. So. All right, well, maybe let's head off and see um, about the the guy at the police station. I'm sure it was him that Nico suggested we speak to. Oh, he's not here. I don't know if that's good or bad. Let's speak to this guy. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. Uh, let's Have ask. you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Mama. I have he's been hospitalized, probably by one of his rivals. Okay. Which hospital was Marquet taken to? The Agenmeyer Clinic in the Avenue des Hérissons. All right, maybe we can go there. Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe he ruined people's lawns. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was a bad attempt at humor, but it's definitely not that, dude. <laughs> I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur? Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? A hotel. Outside the Hotel Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One hmm? looked like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. <coughs> Their names are Flap and Guido. Oh. 
I'll get them this time. Oh, so he knows them then. Interesting. See you later, Sergeant. Alright, so... So... Uh... Okay. I figured out how to get a secret door. Need to find out... Marque, right. So Marque's our next lead. He's in the hospital. Right. Okay. To the hospital we go. Uh, where is it? Here? It's here. Nice. Check out this place. This place looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a look at this ambulance while we're here, and then we'll head inside. I felt a little guilty as I tried the door. Like I was about to rob a grave. <laughs> I gripped the handle with an involuntary tremble in my hand and pulled. The door was locked. <laughs> After all that, what an anticlimax that was. All right, well, let's go into the hospital then, shall we? Ooh, fancy. Check out this place. So we can go... Ooh, there's a couple of different ways we can go here. Let's just have a look around. Okay, speak to this guy. Doctor, I'm guessing. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Really? If you wish to make an appointment... See the receptionist. Uh, can I ask you about Marquet? I'm looking for a guy named Jacques Marquet. In which department does he work? He doesn't. He's a patient. I see. You do realize there are strict policies regarding visiting hours, don't you? No. This is important. I have to talk to Marquet urgently. We make no exceptions to the rules. It's a matter of life and death. The railroad running of this hospital is a matter of life and death. He's got a point. That's why we have rules. Yeah, fair point, fair point. I think I ought to warn you that Marquet is not what he seems. Explain yourself. He's in league with a bunch of guys who want to take over the world. Nonsense. Besides, Marquet's employers have paid in advance for one of our most exclusive private rooms. Have they now? That's interesting. Could you tell me who Marquet's employers are? Certainly not. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. Thanks for your help. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Excuse me, sir. Do you want to shake my hand? May I have the honor of shaking you by the hand? You may not. <laughs> I don't encourage physical contact between my staff. <laughs> Nobody does it. We're going to get somebody help. eventually, I'm sure of it. Someone has got to do it. Otherwise, we just wouldn't have the Excuse item, me. surely. Yes, sir? Uh, Is this the Hagenmeyer Clinic? That's correct. I thought I was in a garden center. Oh, <laughs> the plans. They were my idea. A little greenery to evoke the spirit of nature. How may I help you? It's quite nice with all the plants. I quite... Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I quite like it. I'm here to see Jacques Marquet. Oh, yes. Are you related to our client, sir? Yeah. I am, yeah. Yeah, I'm his uh, long lost brother. Come on, George. A half his age with a different name and an American accent. Yeah, people always say that. I blame mom. We were separated at an early age. After a mix up in the nursery at the Oakland shopping mall. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in all my life. Yeah. I guess not. Anyway. So, do I get to see Marquet before the funeral? That attitude will get you nowhere. <laughs> My instructions were quite clear. No one gets to see Marquet. So unless you can prove you're a relative or a close acquaintance, you're wasting your time here. Right. So we've got to prove we're related in some way. How can we do that? Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown costume? Oh, no. You haven't seen a man in disguise? Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday oh, to entertain no. the children. Personally, I think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Right, we're going to have to bear that in mind. Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of gangsters? I should hope not. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from a zoo. It does. The weasel and the gorilla. Uh, right, do we have anything that can sort of... I don't think we do, do we? I'd like to shake you by the hand. Oh my god, that was loud. Don't be fresh, young man. W why Why was that so loud? Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. What on earth? <laughs> a bit of dialogue was so loud. I'll have to edit that. Uh, right, can we just wander? 
Maybe we can, you know. Maybe we can just find him by chance. Ooh, several minutes later. Oh. We cannot find him by chance, it turns out. <laughs> okay. So, we need... Something to do with a hanging man. Okay. Hmm. So, we can't seem to find him on our own. We need something that proves we're related, but I don't think we have anything. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Uh, do we have anything? I don't think we do. What does this gem suggest to you? I advise you not to flash that around. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I didn't actually think he was going to show her, but Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. I don't suppose the doctor can tell us anything else? We might have to go and Excuse find something. Excuse me, sir. Uh, no. Thanks for your help. Alright, well. We're going to need something to prove that we know Marquet. Could there be something in here? The door was locked. Can we... Hang on. I don't suppose we can use this to like open it up? No. Okay. I don't really want to vandalise an ambulance, but... You know, if it comes to that, then it might come to that. Uh, how do we... Hang on, how do we get out of here? Oh no, is this another situation like the one before? At the hotel, where there's like no way to leave the area? That's kind of weird, if so. But that must mean that we can do something here, right? So maybe we've missed something? Or maybe we do have an item which proves that we know him, of course. So there's a bunch of things up here. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Uh, hmm. Have you heard of the Club Alamut? Oh my god. No. It sounds romantic, doesn't it? Why are some of the lines so loud? Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Yes. Marquet has been asking for you. Oh! For me? Yes. yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. Now, let me see. He was on Ward B12, as I recall. B12. Oh, he's been transferred to... Oh, dear. He's on Ward J2. That's... Nurse Grendel's ward. <gasps> Who's Nurse Grendel? What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs that ward like a South American prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined? In the discipline and punishment stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. Everything, I mean everything, is done to a strict routine. Six o'clock, alarm call. Six ten, bowel movement, and woe betide anyone who doesn't have a result. <laughs> Those patients of hers are like Pavlova's dogs. She sounds like a real nightmare. And then some. He's probably safe in her care, though, to be fair. If Nurse Grendel is that bad, how come the authorities tolerate her? She's like part of the furniture. I was beginning to get the picture. This woman was jealous. With a big green capital J. Anyway, we know where we're going. How right? do I find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left. Turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. Right again at the executive coffee lounge. Bear left past the administrator's sauna. Oh, God. And turn left at the end. That's J2. And good luck. I wasn't listening. Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. Some of the dialogue lines were really loud in this particular conversation. I don't really know what happened there. As I turned the corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed through the corridors. Okay. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. You're right, mate. Uh, oh god, there's a lot of doors and things here. It turns out. <laughs> Did she say left and then right and then left? Or I don't know. Hello, mate. Who are you? Hello. What's that? I said hello. Oh, hi. are you? I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Oh, yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile and whistle this little tune. You know what? If you start whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. What? It's a bit aggressive. It's a deal. 
All right, let's ask him some questions. Have you seen any unsavory characters lurking about in the quarters? No, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You'd take good care of the rascals, I'll bet you would. Okay. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. <laughs> would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please, don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years, and he's never let me down once. Huh. How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? I asked you not to call him that. <laughs> he's got a name, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. Shiny. Yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? I don't mind. No. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. I heard them snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Okay, do you know about Marquet? Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? No, I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. I can see why. Uh, I've also noticed that this there's a plug here, so I wonder if potentially we've got see to do later. something with that. Yeah, take care now. What's in here? Hey now. You can't go in there. Why? What's in there? How come? I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard. Ah, so we're going to have to unplug it so he leaves the post, right? That's what's going on. All right, then, guys. Well, we're out of time, so we'll do that in the next one. We've made a bit of progress after all. It turns out we didn't need to go to the museum. We just needed to come to the hospital and stuff. So there we go. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.